welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys back in time for a little nursery reveal. And I know if you're a continued follower of mine, you're probably wondering why this video is going up after I already uploaded the nursery reveal for my baby boy Eli's room. Well, the truth is, is I totally forgot that I took tons of footage of his room and I had planned on wrapping that or tying that into his nursery reveal and I totally forgot so I couldn't let this go to waste and I really wanted to share it with you guys I know the journey is just you know everybody has a different journey and I think it's really important that we share just every little piece of becoming a mother and having a baby it's just so special and I love watching other people's journey and everything that they go through because I think all of it kind of just helps the entire thing just make it just so much better sharing our journey with each other so I hope you guys enjoy this video going back in time I sped a lot of the clips up for you so it wasn't too crazy long but I think it's a fun video and I hope you guys enjoy it if you're new here welcome I have two kiddos little brief background for you a two-year-old named Ava <laughs> it's I'm filming this at night this little introduction and I'm a little bit tired if you can't tell and I have a baby boy who is almost eight months who is named Eli so I hope you guys subscribe and stick around and I hope we can connect on here so without further ado let's go back in time and check out this nursery transformation so this is my office room it's kind of a mess because I've been kind of going through everything but it used to look really nice and I'll show you some pictures of how it looks once I get everything cleaned out of here. But yes, I'm trying to go through my desk right now, go through a bunch of papers and everything. So basically this room used to be, or was up until about two months ago, it's kind of been a mess since Ava's first birthday because it kind of turned into a storage room. But for a while it was my desk room slash, you know, um, I have my ring light there. So I had a lot of my camera, equipment and things like that books and I had a cute little sofa here and we put I put some pictures up which I love these pictures so I'm gonna have to figure out another spot and then this this room has a little little closet so I will be <laughs> that's my wedding dress I will be redoing the closet and everything so yeah this is what I'm working with right now and then you can see <laughs> Ava made a crazy mess in here but yeah I have stuff everywhere because I'm trying to reorganize everything but this is it's not a really big area so I'm not exactly sure how the desk is going to look in in this little loft area but this little loft area which is the middle between um, the rooms over there and between my room which is over there I have some clothes hanging there yeah. thank you baby you don't want to play what are you doing she loves playing with my phone we're gonna get her a fire tablet here soon. But yeah, so this is the area that it's gonna go in. So I'm not sure how it's gonna fit there, but we're gonna be super creative. That's what happens when you live in a townhouse. It's not as big as I would like it to, but it's a pretty good, pretty big size. I'm gonna tackle this, clean out all these papers, and then hopefully my mom is gonna be picking up this couch by this weekend, and then I'll be moving this out in the loft area so we can get started on this room. I will miss having a office area. It's nice to have your own little space where you can close the door and I did work from home for for a while using this this desk space. So it is, it's gonna it's kind of a bittersweet feeling. I am so excited to have having another baby and these rooms just I, if I had a girl I would love for them to share a room but these rooms are just not big enough and I'm just afraid with like the sleeping schedules and everything even though the baby will be sleeping in our room until she's at least or he is at least four months old I just feel like they it's nice just have for them both to have their own space but if I if they were bigger rooms I would definitely once they're older get like bunk beds and have them share their room I think that that would be I think that they would love that because especially you know two girls are going to be super close but David wants them to have their own room so we're going to clean this one out and I'll make my it'll be okay I'll make my own little office area in the loft room 
and it'll be fine. I'm trying to talk a little bit quiet because Ava's taking, <laughs> taking a nap right now. So I'm gonna dive into this and get this situated. <laughs> here on this on the couch that I'm going through this is all baby stuff so my goal is to they're gonna take the couch once they do that then it'll just be baby stuff in here and I have two bins right here I don't think you can see it but I have two bins of clothes from Ava and I actually think I have one more left in the garage from all her clothes that she has outgrown it's insane. <laughs> so what, what I'm thinking is if I have a boy, I'm probably just going to get get rid of most of it, except for maybe some of my favorite um, pieces. Uh, but if it's a girl, then I'm going to reuse all of it. Um, so we will just see. So yeah, this is like my junk <laughs> bag right here that I'm throwing away. And I'm making a file of stuff to shred because um, I don't want to... I don't want to just throw some stuff away and we don't actually have a shredder right now. So just tons of stuff that just needs to be shredded. So that is what I'm doing right now. <laughs> taking my desk out of my office and moving it to the loft room. I've already done a lot of cleaning. My mom officially took the couch, so now we just have the baby stuff left here. So we can start on baby number two's room, but I am going to miss my office area. bins to go inside here. Oh, it is going to look so cute.
Eli's Nursery and I wanted to show you some things that I've gotten. It is definitely a work in progress and we still have a, a ways to go. But as you can see, I started putting the star decals on the wall and um, as you saw, we already have the crib up and everything. And I'm hoping that you're enjoying the video so far. I kind of just pieced together everything that we've done for the nursery from taking everything out of this room to um, its completion. So this will probably end up being a very long, long video. Um, this part that you're seeing is pretty, it's about halfway between, halfway in between everything. But I just purchased his um, bedding. I'm still waiting a little bit to purchase the mattress. Um, but this is his bedding. You can see it's stars. So the theme of the room is going to be a kind of a mix of some different things. It's the main colors are, you know, gray and white with accents of gold and navy blue. And I'm doing a star um, wall here, mirror wall. I was going to do wallpaper, but I decided that decals will probably be easier. And it's going to be kind of a monochrome feel very light and airy is what i wanted to keep it and then i am going to be adding in a touch of harry potter so i kind of wanted to just be like this there was a word i used to describe it but this very light and airy chic but magical feeling room that kind of kind of reminds you of like a monochrome theme so let me go ahead and finish this wall decal for these stars you show me how to do it now So tell me what you're thinking now Hi everyone! Oh my gosh, today is February 9th. I know it's probably a big gap um, in these... <laughs> Uh, nursery updates in this video but I just wanted to piece it all together for you but I have had my baby and we are putting together the dresser that we ordered unfortunately I wasn't able to get the rest of the room done until after uh, baby Eli was here I pretty much just had um, his closet done which you've seen in other videos as well as his crib and and some of his decor but we're gonna be doing the other side of the room now and I'm hoping to have it completely done by the time I go back to work from maternity leave so I just kind of want to show you what we have going on here and David is going to um, put the dresser together today so here is the dresser. Um, it is called the Baby Relax Dresser. I think that's right. I'm gonna link it below so you can have it, but I am obsessed with this blue, and it has like this copper tone corners, but we just put all the pieces up here, and he is about to put it all together. I think it matches his decor pretty well because we're doing, you know, the um, blue. This is actually a little bit lighter blue than I thought it was going to be, but I still think it looks really cute in here. And we're going to keep with the natural tone um, woods as well to match the crib. This carpet I'm having a little bit of trouble with because it keeps wanting to roll up. So I'm going to try to look for some car carpet tape. So if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments if you've ever used um, like a carpet tape to, to help it stay flat because for whatever reason this carpet is not doing good. Um, I mean obviously it's on carpet so that could be the case but I really need some good suggestions for some type of carpet tape. But some new stuff that I did buy, I bought this on Amazon, so cute. I was thinking about hanging this in the canopy but I'm not sure kind of like how that looks but if not we'll hang this somewhere else and then I did get some of these um see if I can pull it there it goes this to hang on the wall for like his clothes and stuff I just I've been seeing that a lot on Instagram and I just think that those are so adorable so yeah we're gonna get started on this dresser Looking good. Mm. You just have to do the drawers. Yeah, so here's the finished product. I love it. It looks so good. Of course, we're going to move it over. This is not exactly where it's going to be. But I think it's such a pretty blue color. 
I'm very happy. It took a while, but I'm happy. It's not the exact same blue as everything else, which everything's a mess right now, but I will show you the finished product. But I think it looks cute in this room. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this nursery transformation and going back in time and showing you all this footage of me pregnant and me and David putting the room together. But here is the final product and I am so in love. I hope you check out my other nursery reveal video where it goes more in depth of where I got everything. But let me know in the comments below what you think and if you have any ideas to add anything else in this space. And just let me know in general if you're a Harry Potter fan because I'm definitely interested in knowing that. But I hope you enjoyed this nursery as much as I do. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and like this video. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.